Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to find the area of a parallelogram. And I want to be very, very careful with, with you on how we look at the area of a parallelogram. The parallelogram is going to be you know, very similar to a rectangle. We have two sets of parallel lines or parallel sides, but we don't have to necessarily have our right angles um, or <clears throat> our right angles to have a rectangle. However, let's just go back and look at what is, and eh, it's maybe a little too big. Let's go and write out how do we find the area of a rectangle and then just kind of see how that's going to change when we start to turn it into a parallelogram. So we know that the area of a rectangle is area equals base times height, where this would be my base and this would be my height. Now, if I change this out of a rectangle, that means I lose the 90 degree angles and I start to maybe angle my lines a little bit. What you're going to see is this area kind of stains, look, it looks like it's getting a little bit smaller. So the area is still going to be base times height, but we need to determine now what is exactly my height. Because you can see here, my height is from here to here. But my height, in this case, is now not as tall. And if I do this a little bit more drastically, And I'm trying to get the same lengths as much as possible. But if I do this a little more drastically, you can see that this area is getting smaller and smaller. And so is my height. My height is shrinking. So even though this length is just being tilted, this h is no longer the height. The height is going to be the distance from the base to the top. So when looking at this, if I was to turn this parallelogram up and I'd make it a rectangle, 2.4 would be the height, because that would be the distance from the base to the bottom, or the base to the top. However, since I've turned this and I've angled it, 2.4 is no longer the height. That is just the distance from here to here. I need to find the distance from the top to the bottom of my parallelogram. And thankfully, we're given that by a distance of 2 feet. So I'm still going to use my same formula base times height, I just need to make sure I'm only finding the distance from the base to the height, or the base to the top, not the length of the side. That works when we're dealing with the rectangle. However, once we start turning into a parallelogram, this ends up not being your height anymore. As you can see, the height keeps on getting shrunk, shrunk um, lower and lower. So I have my area equals my base, which is 7.4 feet times 2 feet. Therefore, my area of my parallelogram is going to be 14.8 feet squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the area of a parallelogram. Thanks.